uh, flamenco was involved. I, I don't have any notes on flamenco. I, I guess I could. Real quick, we'll take a we'll take a, a a detour. Flamenco started this year really strong by talking about anime shit, and then uh, he continually had these Discord gay gay things where he was like, I don't I don't even fucking know. It was like really suspect pedo shit sometimes. Um, and I think he lost a lot of his momentum because of that. He was Jim's favorite to succeed the anime throne. However, because of his handling of the Discord drama, he has lost Father Jim's favor. Um. I suspect that in 2023, um, he will marry a VTuber. Uh, I'm going to lock it in. He's going to meet in real life some no-name VTuber streamer, maybe the rabbit, uh, Pippa, and they're going to they're going to they're going to become anime avatar and anime avatar, and uh, not holy matrimony because anime Japan does not fall under the light of God. Uh, some other kind of matrimony, actually no matrimony, because matrimony means like peace. Some kind of hellfire, some some extremely scorched orange hellfire. Um, so that is <laughs> that. That's my that's my lock it in for flamenco getting married to an anime avatar. Look, and people saying that I'm I'm optimistic that flamenco will get married. Who says that it has to be in real life? The the rabbit lives where whatever and flamenco where it lives whatever they could like look everybody does the long distance thing they'll get married on the internet it's not that big of a thing right it's just whatever they don't have to actually meet each other and you know it would probably ruin the magic if you took the VTuber avatars off just you know he he wants the avatar on he doesn't want to see the woman puppeteering this this masquerade he wants the VTuber avatar to be his wife specifically okay. That's what I'm, 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 Flamenco will be married to an anime avatar is my lock-in for 2023. Yeah, woman in quotes. That's my, that's, that's my take. There's my detour. We're going back now. Um, <clears throat> P, uh, PPP, uh, had Flamenco on. And Flamenco was on the forum defending himself before this. Because what it was, I remember this, he was in a Steam group or he was friends with guys, he was friends with somebody who had a very suspicious Lollicon avatar, and he was in this German, weird German thing called, like, the Austrian Federal Police, and, like, it was, it was, I think it was actual pictures of kids, like, really weird, etchy photos of kids and, like, leotards and Lollicon shit, and uh, people were asking him, like, why he was in this, he said, and he, he floundered hard, like, on the forum, his debate like banter back and forth with people in the forum was horrific. He made himself look like a total fucking retard. However, I think what happened is, is that he had an emergency meeting. He had a, a, a fear bunker uh, downfall moment, whatever, where they got together and said, okay, look, we're going to go on Kino Casino, which I thought was a bad idea. And they debated it and said, how do you react if you get asked this? How do you react if you ask this? And they came up with a plan. And then the Kino Casino thing happened and PPP was there. And I think, Godwinson was there and they completely failed. They completely failed to take the easiest win ever against Flamenco. They looked extremely unprepared, extremely uneducated. They were arguing in terrible faith, um, which is, I don't know why people were surprised by that, by Godwinson. Godwinson argues in nothing but bad faith. Um, I believe that Godwinson as an Anglo is genetically, like people think that black people are genetically predisposed to be violent. I think that the English are genetically predisposed to, um, to lie. I think that they just don't care what they say. They argue in bad faith. Yellow journalism is the default. They, the British mind is completely incapable of feeling shame. for Like, usually you tell a lie about somebody. You feel, ba feel bad for it because it's not true, and you should strive to tell the truth. British people are literally lack the gray matter responsible for feeling shame for lying about someone. So, God Winston's arguing, and he's just like... Uh, aren't, aren't you a pedo? Aren't you a pedophile? Can you explain the Discord chat for us? Can you explain while you're fucking children in the other room? Uh, flamenco. And he's just like, yeah, no, I wasn't doing that. I joined a, I joined a bunch of groups. I joined a random groups and whatever. Uh, you know, everyone does that. Everyone joins random groups. It's not my responsibility to know, like, whatever about everybody every all the time. And he just, it, he just completely demolished this and people are like, wow, you guys are fucking assholes for treating him like that when uh, and not having any fucking idea what you're talking about. So that, there, there were a couple, it wasn't like any single thing. And now I, th I think the momentum of the stream is down a lot. The donations are down. Uh, a lot of people are antagonistic towards it. Um, I, I, I saw he was streaming and I checked in and it was like 700 to 800 viewers, which is, I mean, it's pretty good. 
most people don't get that. Um, I never expected to get that uh, in terms of streaming numbers, so it's not that bad.